Well, hello everybody out there on the internet. This is Real Man Pones, and today I'm making samba, jalapeno sambal olek, which is a fancy way of saying hot pepper relish. <laughs> and here are the peppers, right there. These are my jalapenos from my garden. Now it's nicer to use all red, but I got a few greenish, brownish color in there, and I'm also using some of these. Why? Well. Because I have them. <laughs> Why not? And uh, the recipe calls for one and a half quarts. And what I do is I use this uh, five and a quarter cup container, which five and a half cups would be one and a half quarts, I believe. Two quarts? No? Well, whatever. I use this filled up to here really high you can see how high it is over the edge yeah that's what i filled it up to but now i'm gonna i'm gonna put those in here after i cut the tops off uh you can cut them in half you know if it makes it easier to start because they're gonna be blitzed up anyway i'll be back when it's time to blitz them up well hello everybody i'm back and now it's time to blitz up the peppers so we're gonna put them in our food processor it's really full and we're just it'll take a few minutes I'll be back when they're done. Well, well that's done, and there are the peppers. And what I did is I, is I add a tablespoon of salt and we're going to stir this all up and spread out that salt and then we're going to let it sit in this container uh, for about four hours unrefrigerated do not refrigerate you want it at room temperature sit out for four hours now I'm going to have it covered with this lid and this lid has a little open air thing to let, let a bit of air flow in because that's not necessary but I like it that way gives it some airflow and uh anyway and yeah, so see you in four hours oh well i'm ready now as you see here i have my my peppers in a pot and right here we've got some vinegar and some lemon juice now there's a one and a half cups of white vinegar is called for but i use a mix of uh half white and half red red wine vinegar because you know i like it and plus uh they call for the juice of one lemon which is about two tablespoons of lemon juice so that's what's in here and we're gonna pour that right in there and we're gonna stir that up we got some chunky sometimes you get a little chunk of, of the white stuff in the middle and we just throw that away you know what I mean, you know what I mean, Butterbean? But, uh, yeah. There you go, and now we're going to heat it up to, to get it, bring it up to a boil. And we're also going to add two tablespoons of sugar. Because this is a sweet recipe. That's why it's a relish. That's good enough. Stir that in, get it all sweetened up. That's a lot of vinegar, real man pones. You need it to make sure that the recipe is safe to can. Because I have my I have me a couple canning jars and a couple canning lids. And uh, now you don't boil these lids. All you really have to do is heat them up to warm to get the little rings around them a little soft. That's all that's necessary. But I won't heat this until uh, 
till we uh, after we simmer this. Now I'm gonna bring this up to a boil, and once it's up to a boil, I'll reduce the heat to uh, simmer, and which yeah, I'll put it around usually around a four on my stove, number just one notch below medium, and stir it every so often for 30 or 45 minutes, and then we'll uh, jar it up. I'll be back. All righty, now we got it up to a boil, and we're going to lower it down to that four, and we're going to let it simmer. Ooh, hot! And there's some good hot jalapenos, too, with a few of them cayennes in there for a good measure. You know what I mean, Butterbean? You know what I mean, Butterbean? I'll be back. Oh, by the way, here's a quick tip. If you, this tip is especially if you've got really hard water, you take a, about a, just about that much of vinegar, white vinegar, and put it in your, your water, and that will prevent, when you can something, jars getting a white milky film on them that looks, uh, looks like something's wrong but it ain't really so yeah tip just for you